Hey guys, it's me, Zell, and we are here with the newest Marvel show. First episode just came out today. The Falcon and the Winter Soldier. Super excited for it. Um, I wasn't super pumped originally because these characters haven't had a lot of story. The Winter Soldier has, um, but he definitely started out on that as a more... Well, he went through a journey, to be fair. He started off as just a civilian friend to Captain America. Then he came and was turned into the Winter Soldier, and then he was able to get the brainwashing fixed out, and now he's here. Um, and then the Falcon, you know, he was introduced later on in the Marvel series, and he um, didn't really get a lot of story about his character, a lot of background. We know little bits and pieces, um, but um, after watching through uh, all the Marvel movies, and then Marvel put out a Legends just kind of gives you a little bit of background of each character from what was showed in the movie. So just compressed into a little block of time. So yeah, either way, uh, we got a little taste of their potential dynamic and I believe was Civil War, right? A little bit of that, I don't like you, but a little bit of com comedic vibes, but I'm sure that got a little bit more of a camaraderie after everything with Endgame and Thanos and all that business, so. Um, but yeah, so I'm excited to see what we have in store, and I think we're in for a treat. So, let's get to it. I'm gonna try to go into this with not overlooking anything this time. But there's the shield. Looks pretty nice, huh? I'm guessing this is like, fresh after the funeral, perhaps? Oh, that's cool. It's own traveling case. How does it feel? Like it's someone else's. It's not. It isn't. Oh, there we go. The Falcon and the Winter Soldier. I'm interested in how their dynamics gonna go. This new role to play. Zant's plane has already entered Tunisian airspace. U.S. military cannot be seen operating out there. I got it. This has to be subtle. Subtle. Got it. I mean, is a flying winged man subtle? <laughs> That's cool that his goggles serve as visual HUD, like Iron Man. Oh, snap. They've already hijacked the plane. Oh, that's cool. Hey, Red Wing, engage. Red Wing! We'll get to learn more about that. I wonder how it's controlled. Does he control it? Is it like... He sends commands to it? Cool. Very cool. Oh, that's an unfortunate... I guess quick way to go. Do you know how to fly, Sam? I mean. <laughs> Let's get you out of here. Dude, guys, the plane. That guy's a pretty impressive fighter. Oh my gosh. Oh no. He can outfly them. Go, go, go. Nice little somersault there. Do they really think they could outmaneuver the Falcon? This is cool. How does Marvel film these scenes? All CGI? I'll be excited to see in the making of for this show. Oh, that's... Woo! Red Wing's gonna take out a helicopter? That's impressive. And unfortunate for them. <laughs> well, that's... Yep, that's another way. Take it out. Woo! I guess that was a defense that he had to do, right? What's up? Uh-oh, uh-oh. They threw out his, uh, wings, right? Oh, just Red Wing, I think. Oh, no. 
those wings do look really fun to maneuver. Yeah, I don't think this is, this is beyond subtle now. Oh man, oh man. Dude. Oh. Reroute? What? That's cool. Where did he get his tech from? I can't remember. <laughs> I feel more of a sign. He's getting tossed around. Nice. That's awesome. Gliding in those mountains. Cool. So he put that together or knows enough about it. You try to reroute that to the end. Did you not? Oh, those poor techs can't keep up with a billion returning IP addresses and your sick ass Stark level tech. Stark level, okay. Wait, can you say that again? Who was? <laughs> I was gonna say, that was impressive. You see these guys? These are the guys you gotta worry about. They call themselves the flag smashers. Was that a new thing? Is that a digital thing? Bad name. They think that the world is better during the blip. Every time something gets better for one group, it's worse for another. Essentially, yeah. And he mastered posing stoically. Oh. The world has been forever changed. War machine. We need new heroes. One suited for the times we're in. <gasps> Is this a big reveal? Oh. Oh. Duh, I guess having it doesn't mean anything. I don't know if there's ever been yet. a greater symbol. Thank you, Captain America. Oh. This belongs to you. He doesn't think he should hold the shield. So I'm guessing this will be a show that'll make him feel like he is maybe not necessarily worthy, but can uphold what Captain America represented. My sister and my nephews, man. When I left, they were babies. I come back and they're little men. It's crazy, you know? Well, you should bring him out to DC sometime. I'll teach him how to fly. You know, I mean the right way. Hey. Uh, nobody's gonna be there he is. We went for... The first words I said were, it feels like it belongs to someone else. That someone else is Steve. The world's broken. Everybody's just looking for somebody to fix it. Yeah. Oh. They need a new leader. That's beautiful. Wow. A lot of oh, piss. <laughs> oh no. He's very Winter Soldier right now. They're Russian, so do you think they're involved with Hydra? Hell, Hydra. <gasps> Oh, was that satire? Oh. Oh, was that a memory? <laughs> That's traumatic, man. So, tell me about your most recent nightmare. Oh. I didn't have a nightmare. All right. Oh, come on, really? You're gonna do the notebook thing? Why? That's passive aggressive. Senator Atwood. She was a hydropon for years. Oh, okay. Helped her get into office when I was a winter soldier. She continued to abuse the power I gave her. If Congressman Lockhart wants to speak up, silence him. This is a little close. You can't do anything illegal. Home. All I did was give some intel to the aide to convict her, and I wasn't involved in anything else. Is he driving her to the police? Remember me? Oh. I am no longer the Winter Soldier. I am James Bucky Barnes, and you're part of my efforts to make amends. <laughs> Look, you've got to nurture friendships. I am the only person you have called all week. That is so sad. Aww. I didn't have a moment to deal with anything, you know? Yeah. I had a little calm in Wakanda. Now that you've stopped fighting, you don't know what, what to do. What do you want? Peace. That is utter bullshit. You're a terrible shrink. I was an excellent soldier, and I know how that can shut you down. So she was an ex-soldier, okay. Alone, I guess she's speaking from experience. Look, I know. You're free. Yeah, but what does that freedom bring? To do what? 
Nori, what's going on? I thought we were getting lunch. Unique is putting his trash into my trash. It's trash. And the time it's come for me to no. trash. Oh, it's just trash. <laughs> Hey, I'm not more. in the mood today. Hey, what a bye-bye. Fine, but no talking. Fine. <laughs> you guys are more of the usual, huh? Feeling like more adventurous? Oh. Out. He would like to take you out on a date. Maybe to bingo or a night of pinnacle. Pinnacle. I'm really sorry about him. Okay. Wow. Tomorrow night then? Wow. wow <laughs> you okay? And he was killed. The police said, wrong place, wrong time, but I will never know what really happened to him. Wonder if it was the LAF. Maybe not. In here. Oh. Oh. What's up? His nephews. Paul and Darlene. I thought we were going to discuss Is that their yourself. parents. We did. We grew up on this thing. It's not just mom and dad's name on it, Sarah. This thing is a part of our family. What if we don't have to sell it? Can I talk to you? What's good, big Sam? Oh, what's going on, man? He's like, I'm trying to live like uh... you, bro. <laughs> right, but you tangled the house into this when you took those loans. Oh. Yeah, that was. I forgot how hard you hit. Look, and don't hit me again. <laughs> What if you had money to fix it up? Trust me. Oh, he wants to help, and she has. It's a hard time. That's hard. I mean, you just made peace with some plan, and then you don't want to get your hopes up again. Wait, how old are you? 106. <laughs> <laughs> He's like. <laughs> Stop with these gloves. I, um, He's trying to like yeah, relearn uh, everything. He's doing a good job acting that. Circulation. <laughs> what are you doing? <laughs> trying to read you. Your mind. Please don't. Look at his face. He ate like a drink. Right. Oh my gosh. All those beers well, next to him. Really good drink. You know how we call a guy whose wife died a widower? Or if your parents die, you're an orphan. No word for someone whose kids die. Because it's like the worst thing that can happen. That's what I've heard. You good? What are you doing here? <gasps> Oh. Oh. It was, it was... Oh. How did he meet this man? So did he actually know he was the dad of this kid? Oh, he's number one in his amends. I get it. Okay. We've got to tell him the truth. I'm a grandma's recipes and we got to go. The appointment's an hour. There's no such thing as on time. You're either early or late. Pick one. Now you're really doing more than the most. <laughs> All right, boys. What? I love you. What in the world is going on? This is some cult business. So he's like infiltrating. So these are the group of people that want to get rid of the borders? This is LAF. Okay, what kind of guy is that? Ouch. Oh, no, 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 not in the face. Well, he has that all on record. I knew it, Falcon. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So he's using his celebrity, potentially. Is he gonna deny them still? Is there some kind of fun for heroes, or did Stark pay you when he was around? My condolences, by the way. There's a tremendous amount of goodwill. Right, but you couldn't have been living off of goodwill this whole time. I don't get what you're going for you here. have no income over the last five years how can you have income if you don't exist sarah yeah that's not really fair uh, is there any chance and of course you could say no that i could get a selfie with your arms out are you serious <laughs> but we cannot approve you i'm truly sorry Stop. i don't want to deal with this again well, that's, what life that's, is. that's hard you i was alone with two babies and i survived I'm the one who kept that boat from... We're not selling our family's legacy. Oh, and they're giving food to the homeless. They're already struggling themselves, and they're still giving, giving to oh. others. Hmm. I hear creaking. Wait, you don't think you could be a... Look, I'll circle back to you. 
Let's keep this between me and you, okay? We need someone to inspire us again. Someone who can be a symbol for all of us. Your new Captain America. Who the heck? With his shield? That should be yours. Who the heck are you? Okay, let's uh let's talk about that. Um yeah, that's heartbreaking. He's like, I regret giving them the shield. Now they're like, freaking give it to some rando. Are they suggesting that they, which I don't even know if that's still around, the chemical, probably not, to enhance people. So they they need a symbol, I get that. They, they, they feel like they need to have unity, but oh, that's heartbreaking for Sam. I think Bucky's in a different place right now to, to be thinking about that, but ooh. Uh, yeah, either way, this this show, I, I'm really enjoying it so far. I think this episode really set a good premise for the show. It brought us back into both Sam and Bucky's lives and their placement. Man, I really feel for both of them in their own ways. They have their own things to do with. Um, Sam's is down, you know, down to earth, you know, with his family and and trying to help them out and like and then they keep bringing up really real things about like the blip and like five years not being there and what it's done to all of the world in a way and that there's a lot of people struggling to like reacclimate right to all these returned folks and lives trying to get back in order or change and then bucky's dealing with his trauma his basically like ptsd of his past actions that he did that he didn't really have control over right but he's struggling to you know come to terms with that and we see this you know this very real person this friendship he's made the guy who lost his son the person he killed just a witness which is very unfortunate and very sad i i i feel for again i i it's really i appreciate it because it's very real and very um true to the experiences of of life right just in a different different way so uh, i'm curious how they're going to come together um is it this new captain america that's going to bring them together is it um i'm wondering i don't know how bucky's story right now is going to kind of maybe one of his people he needs to make amends with is on his list maybe it's that guy is it going literally i don't feel like it's not going to be two separate stories they have to come together at some point we've obviously seen that um so yeah i'm interested in how that story is going to converge together uh very very interesting though uh a lot of feels a lot of good character development just in one episode seeing the awkwardness that Bucky is having just relating with other people, whether it's romantic or friendships, um, just adjusting to this new modern world since he's never really gotten to be civilian in this time. It's always been fighting, so he's never really got to absorb and experience everything. And then, you know, Sam, you know, was blipped away and he's coming back to his family and, and hearing and trying to help them but they're like we've been around for the last five years and we have all this time we've come to terms with certain things and and it's hard for him to just like kind of to him give up on something that was so cherished in their family so yeah i'm uh i'm invested i i'm liking this so far really good cinematography never something marvel um fails at and, and enough interesting things to keep you curious and guessing for what's going to happen right there's this is new elements coming into play that you're like what's going on here so uh thumbs up so far for uh the falcon and the winter soldier good show so far i'm excited to see what's coming i believe this is a one the shorter one right is it only like six episodes so but the episodes were longer themselves. Uh, anywho, thanks so much for watching, guys. I hope you enjoyed. Uh, uh, again, my name's Zell, and this is the channel of reaction. And if you want to support, thumbs up, subscribe, comment with your thoughts below. I'm curious if you have any theories or ideas about what this episode showed us. And I'm ready for more. I'm excited for next week, and I hope you are too. And I'll see you then. Thanks.